In this video, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a friend on YouTube. The question is like this. Given percentage change in gross national product is 1.8, percentage change in population is 0.5, percentage change in price level is 1.3. What is the approximate percentage change in real per capita GNP? We have to find the real per capita GNP. Okay. The options are uh, 0 0.51 and 1.3. First of all, what is the real GNP? So I will write here. And let us say this is GNP real is simply equal to nominal GNP. Nominal GNP. Okay. Let this subscript denote nominal divided by deflator. What is also called the price level. Okay. First, we calculate the percentage change in uh, real GDP, sorry, real GNP. After that, whatever we get, then we can uh, calculate uh, the per capita. Let us say I will write per capita, uh, per capita uh, GNP, GNP, or rather real GNP is simply equal to our real GNP that is g n p real divided by population okay so let us say we denote population by n here okay uh, to differentiate it with the price level now what we are given here now g n p uh, real g n p is equal to percentage change so i will write here percentage change in change in uh, g n p real that is g n p real g n p is simply equal what we have to see here we are given the numbers we are given the variables in the percentage form okay so what is the change in a GNP nominal that is given as uh, 1.8 okay so I will write here uh, 1.8 uh, I forgot to write here percentage change in nominal GDP let us say this is n denotes the nominal GDP which is 1.8 divide by what is our uh, price percentage change in price level that is 1.3 okay what we have to see here what we have to comprehend here that we cannot divide these two things whenever we are being given the percentage in numerator and denominator to get the change in change we simply we simply uh, subtract uh, the denominator by numerator that is 1.8 minus 1.3 okay i hope i am making myself clear this comes out to be 1 uh, 1.8 minus 1.3 is equal to 0 0.5 okay i repeat here since the question doesn't ask us about what is the per capita real gnp it only says what is the percentage change in real uh, capita GNP at that time what we do we don't divide the numerator and denominator we just as uh, subtract uh, denominator from numerator so percentage change in real GNP is equal to 0 0.5 okay this 0 0.5 is in percentage okay so this is part first now what is per capita real GNP the formula is this okay so uh, percentage percentage change in per capita i will write here per capita per capita real gnp so i will write g and p subscript real would be equal to g and p percentage change in real gnp percentage change in real gnp which we got here 0 0.5 divided by percentage change in population which is given us here that is also 0 0.5 okay so here we also what we do we subtract denominator from numerator this comes out to be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 which comes out to be 0 okay so percentage change in per capita gnp would be equal to 0 okay although it seems confusing but it is very easy whenever we have to find the percent okay whenever we have to find the percentage change and we have a relation in numerator and denominator okay let us say we have to find the percentage change in percentage change uh, in y okay and we are given the num uh, numerator in percentage 
denominator also in percentage at that time we cannot uh, simply divide these two otherwise percent and percent will get cancelled we are left with the number okay uh, without percentage so in that in that case what will we do we do numerator percentage change minus denominator percentage change okay so let me give you another example to differentiate it with what we are being given uh, in other numericals let us say if the question was like this uh, our let us say our g and p was in absolute numbers let us say 30 uh, a million dollars our population our population was 5 million okay and our price or deflator was let us say price level was let us say it was 3 okay if the numbers are given here and if the numbers are not in percentage then we can simply use the, uh, these very formulas let us say real g and p would be equal to g and p real would be equal to uh, nominal let us say this is our nominal g and p that is 30 divided by price level is 3 so i will write here uh, 3 so this comes out to be our uh, real gnp would be equal to 10 million dollars okay so here uh, we can divide them because there is not uh, they are not in the percentage formers okay we are not being told what is the percentage change here similarly if this is our real gnp and after that what we have to calculate uh, per capita per capita g and p that is per capita real g and p would be equal to real g and p real g and p divided by population okay so uh, sorry uh, yes this is population here so i will write here population population so in this case our uh, real g and p was 10 divided by our population was 5 then we can say that our per capita uh, real gnp was 5 ones are 5 twos are 10 here we can divide okay so i repeat when we are given the changes in percentages okay then we cannot simply divide uh, numerator and denominator we have to subtract uh, denominator from numerator okay so when we are given the when we are being given the absolute numbers like we are given the 30 million dollars we have population of 5 million we have the price level let us say 3 okay in this case we can simply divide numerator and denominator and i repeat when we are being given a change in percentage then we cannot simply divide numerator by denominator okay so uh, if we hear okay, because the question asks us about percentage change in real GNP if it is here percent here It is percent then percent percent will get cancelled We will get a number without percent because the question asks us about percentage change So there is zero percent change in our uh, real per capita GNP I hope what is the difference between when we are being given the numbers in percentage form and when the numbers are being given in absolute form or whatever you call the simple numerical form okay i hope i make myself clear if there are any doubts you can ask in the comment comment box if there are some mistakes i will apologize because i am not uh, good at the macro or micro theory part is weak okay so uh, if i have used the correct formula please tell me in the comment box and if you have any doubts in this question just comment and let us say we have a healthy discussion. Thank you.